Transport Minister Figile Mbalula has announced that National Treasury has appointed Badisa Matejo as accounting authority of the passenger rail agency Prasa in compliance with a court order last month. The Western Cape High Court declared uh, illegal and set aside the Minister of Transport's appointment of uh, Bongisizu Mpondo as a Prasa acting chief executive officer. The High Court order declared unlawful and set aside Treasury's decision to approve Mpondo as accounting authority of Prasa. The order also directed the minister to appoint a permanent board of control within 60 days. Two months uh, from uh, the day of the judgment, uh, Unite Behind, a civil society coalition, took the matter to court. Unite Behind's Ladi Bosch joins me now live. A very good evening to you, Mr. Bosch. Thanks indeed for your time. So a couple of hours ago, a new accounting authority has been appointed by Treasury, Mr. Badi Samachiho. Are you satisfied uh, with this appointment? Uh, well, we are relieved that uh, uh, the ministers announced that he will abide by the court order um, and that he will uh, that the national treasury has also appointed an, uh, an interim accounting authority mm. we think anything contrary to that would have been a waste of time and a waste of public money so we are encouraged by yes by this definitely yes mm. But this uh, doesn't uh, uh, go a long way in fixing the challenges at Prasa, does it? It's, it's a very important start. Mm. The, what the judgment has done is it has reaffirmed what needs to happen in order for Prasa to have lawful and stable leadership. Mm. Something which has, been, which has been absent, something which has been uh, devastatingly absent uh, as far as commuters are concerned. So the judgment has said, appoint uh, a competent and uh, a permanent board within 60 days, mm. which we think is an, is, is, it's an extremely important starting point. This has implications for other state-owned entities as well. Mm. Um, it says how accountability must be achieved and maintained. It cannot be done by one person. A competent body has to do it. Mm. How lawful decisions have to be taken and implemented. And the judgment, and I think uh, uh, the minister's statement, acknowledge that this legacy, this, this, this painful legacy of poor governance in Prasa has to come to an end. Um, otherwise, we won't, have a, we won't have a commuter rail service that can service the uh, passengers across the country. And we've seen the effects of this, uh, I guess, uh, you know, uh, within uh, the rail service uh, throughout the country, where it has been limping uh, for quite some time now. So uh, to have uh, uh, what you would then say is a competent appointment of a permanent board uh, would go a long way, I guess, in trying to uh, bring about some kind of stability at Prasa. Absolutely. Um, the, the minister also mentioned that Praza has been a victim of economic sabotage, the, the destruction of, of property, the theft of cables, the deliberate uh, burning of trains. Uh, and this is, it has created a, a chaotic situation mm. which has to be managed, it has to be ended, and it has to, uh, it has to be dealt with. And the, that's where the board comes in. Unfortunately, one person cannot do it. Um, and uh, despite the assurances by the minister that he, he wants to create stability, yeah. not having a board has made things worse. Mm -hmm. So um, we've, we've also, in our submissions to the Zonda Commission, explained how um, executive interference can damage governance mm -hmm. at an important institution like this and mm -hmm. a board must be appointed they must get on with the work they must do it with diligence they must do it with urgency yeah. Uh, and yeah that's what's necessary all right uh, i'm afraid i think we're running out of time a united behind uh, uh, larry bosch thank you very much indeed for joining us on the program this evening yeah. let's take a recap of uh, tonight's